29-2A as well. Uh, thank you, Ms. Ms. Madam Speaker. Uh, I just also wanted to rise to, uh, to make a few comments. I also received uh, numerous letters from the Calgary Board of Education, very respectful letters, uh, but with some very specific concerns on clauses 8, 9, and 10. Uh, in addition, I received some, uh, a letter from the Clareview Public School Board as well, outlining similar concerns with uh, clauses 8 and 9. And um, that, to me, indicates, uh, again, a, a concern with the consultation that has transpired to date, uh, the short time, which is uh, something that we've perhaps seen a bit too much of with respect to consultation uh, of a monologue versus a dialogue. And I think that there's an opportunity here to take a step back and to ensure that the school boards that are being most deeply affected, uh, both their, their parents, their students, and their finances uh, are not being addressed. I'd like to ask the member um, if there's any other uh, uh, threads or patterns within the communications which he's received, uh, which would indicate specific concerns with, uh, with certain clauses within uh, this, uh, this bill as well. Thank you.